everyone, my name is Rebecca Grace and I'm a Squarespace expert and website designer. Today we're going to be talking about adding a drop down box to your Squarespace website in both 7.0 and 7.1. So you can use the same strategy for both. So I'm going to do it on this contact page. Maybe we want like an FAQ section at the bottom to help minimize the questions you get through the contact form. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually add the questions and answers for my FAQ. So I'm going to click on edit. Um, for Squarespace 7, you're going to scroll down to the section and click edit. I'm then going to add two spacer blocks because I want the title FAQ to be on this side and drop down boxes to be on this side. So I'm going to add two spacer blocks and then drag one beside the other. I'm going to move this over to match the columns I have set up here. Underneath this spacer block, I'm going to add a text box that says FAQ, and I'm going to make it a heading 2. And then under this section, I'm going to add a code block. And I'm going to copy and paste the code listed below this video. And you can paste it over and over again for as many questions as you have. So let's say I have three questions. I'm going to paste it once, put a space, paste it again, put a space, paste it again. Okay, all in the same code block. Then you can change the black text to be the questions and answers that you would like. You say this is question one, and maybe I only want one paragraph in this answer, so I'm going to delete out this second line. And then question two, and question three, and maybe question three has three paragraphs, so you can just copy this line from the first P to the last P there, and just paste another line to add a third paragraph. Okay. So once I've changed all the black text to be the questions and answers that I like, you can click apply. And now we need to add some styles and functions. So I'm going to click save. And I'm going to go to design, custom CSS, and copy and paste the code listed below this video for the CSS. Okay, and there is some code in here that you may want to edit and customize. So this number here is the spacing between the boxes. So you can change that number if you would like them to be closer together or farther apart, kind of like them a little bit closer. And then you can change the font size. So the question is automatically set to a heading three. Please don't change the heading three within the code block um, or that will change the CSS and the JavaScript, the action won't work. So instead of changing it from a heading three, what you can do is just change the font size in here. This is the background color of the box the color of the text, and then there's an outline. So I have a black outline. If you do not want that outline, you can just delete these lines here, and instead you'll just have the black box. I then have it set so that the answers are italic. If you don't want that, you can just delete this part of the text out. This number is the space between the question and answer. Right now, they won't actually click because we haven't added our JavaScript, um, so you won't be able to see these as of yet, but this is the number for the space between the question and answer. This gives a little bit of a line, like a gray line beside the answer. If you don't want that, you can just delete that number out. And this is the space between the line and the answer. It gives a little like indent, so you can change that number there. This code here is for that arrow. If you don't want that arrow, you can change that to a plus sign, for instance, a minus sign, um, or whatever else you would like. Then click Save. And now we need to add the clicking action, the actual drop down action. To do that, we're going to go to Settings, Advance, Code Injection. And you're going to copy and paste the following code into the header. Now this is calling on a jQuery library. If you already have a line like this in your code where it's calling on a jQuery library, you do not need to have this again. 
You do not want more than one jQuery library loaded or it could cause conflicts in your code. Then you're going to copy and paste the code listed below this video for the footer. Click save. And you should now see that when you click on the question, the answer slides down. And that is how you add a drop-down box to your Squarespace website.